welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Uriawan and today is another everyday photography vlog. I'm here in a beautiful location. This is uh, called Gas Block near Borobudur Temple in Central Java, Indonesia. I'm having a quick dinner with my wife here. It's not actually in the evening right now, but I'm having an early dinner and I thought I want to squeeze a little bit of photography time. So yeah, if you want to watch the other everyday photography vlogs, you can check out the link up here. But today, my mission is to try to employ three different cameras. Uh, first camera is the Panasonic Lumix GX8 and then I'm using the Panasonic 35 to 100 millimeter lens on that guy, the little telephoto lens, uh, because I wanna try to capture some distant landscape photos today. I think this location is very beautiful for that. And then the second camera is the Panasonic LX100 compact camera with micro photo sensor. And then third camera is the Canon G15 pocket camera that I set to shooting only JPEG. So as some of you guys might already know, I shoot only RAW most of the time. So I wanna practice a little bit of my JPEG shooting skill, if you will. But yeah, all of these cameras, those three cameras, I don't really use them that much this last few months. So I wanna try to force myself to use them more and more. So, you know, I can keep my photography, you know, kind of fresh and uh, challenge myself so I can become better in the future. So yeah, now let's try to take some pictures. All right, so for our first shot of the day, yeah, it's very beautiful right now. I'm thinking of some possibilities of trying to capture uh, this area on the left right here, those hills with this uh, corn field, or maybe that area on the right with more open field grass area right there, or maybe paddle field area. So yeah, we're gonna try both, and I'm going to use the uh, Panasonic uh, GX8 right here together with the 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 mini telephoto lens. So yeah, I'm forcing myself to use the GX8 more because you know I haven't been using it a lot last year. So I'm gonna try to just incorporate it more. So yeah, let's start with this area, uh, 35 millimeter f5.6 auto ISO and uh, automatic ISO and just electronic shutter so yeah this is the composition that i have in mind just trying to frame the cornfield with the trees on the middle and then the hills as sort of the background so yeah, let's try to capture it all right i'm focusing somewhere in the middle of the trees on the middle layer right there again f5.6 35 millimeter something like that really nice with the GX8, it's necessary to use electronic shutter because otherwise everything's gonna be blurry because of the shutter shock. Yeah, it's real, especially on my camera. It's been causing some ruined shot, but as long as you're shooting in electronic shutter, it's fine, no problem at all. Let's try vertical composition. I wanna try to go a little bit tighter, something like this. All right, this is about 50 millimeter, something like this. The lighting is very beautiful right now. We have the light from the right of the camera side, making for, you know, sculpting light, especially for the hill area. We can see the interplay between the shadows and highlight. I wanna try to focus really close on uh, the hill area right there. I'm zooming a little bit more to about maybe 70 millimeter. I wanna try to just get a close up of the hills without anything too much right something like this uh actually it's 60 millimeter all right let's take it very beautiful i love the lighting i love the details that i can extract from this lens and from the beautiful lighting as well to be fair with this kind of lighting using any kind of lens will make it look good uh, but the 35 to 100 is actually a very sharp lens so yeah I saw that tree right there. I want to try to capture it. Right, I'm zooming out a little bit to about 50 and I'm trying to capture the tree as sort of a part of the frame. Something like this. All right. Very beautiful. Let's try to incorporate it more into the frame. Like this. Makes the image looks more balanced. Try to zoom in all the way to that hill right there, 100 millimeter. Yeah, those uh, isolated peaks looks really nice. 
with a little bit of the cornfield as sort of a foreground. Nice. Let's try to capture this area right here, the paddock field. Still with the 35 to 100. And yeah, we have this little hut right here. I wanna try to incorporate it. I wanna try to make it into the main subject of the photo. 35 millimeter f5.6. Not changing any kind of settings in the camera at all. Just keeping it aperture priority and auto everything. Something like this, beautiful. Let's try the one without the hut and let me know what you guys think, which one is better. It's going to be a little bit of a backlight situation because the light is coming from here. So it's almost backlight, but not a big problem. Right, what else? See that hill right there? I'm gonna try to capture it as well. 100 millimeter or no. Zoom out a little bit. 60. Right, beautiful. Still from the same spot, I saw those, you know, uh, the intersection points between two hills, the one on the front and the one on the back. I think it looks kind of nice. Try to capture it. Still with the GX8 and 35 to 100. I'm zooming to about 70 millimeter or maybe 60 again. All right, looks really nice. I hope you can see what I'm doing on the camera. Oh, there are some bugs right there. I'm kind of scared with it. But it's okay. All right, 60 millimeter. Very simple composition. Those intersection lines looks really cool. You know, these layers kind of, uh, you know, composition. The hills meeting with each other. I think it looks really nice. All right, I'm still on the same spot, and now I switch camera to the LX100. Wow, it's been a while since I used this little camera. I forgot how great it is. I'm so focused on using the GX850 and the GX85. This is actually a really nice camera. And the lens on it, the built-in lens is equivalent to about 24 to 70 in full frame. So yeah, I'm going to try to capture some wide angle pictures with this guy. Let's see, something like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing on the camera. Right, very beautiful at the uh, widest angle, the 24 millimeter focal length. This is what I got. Oh, uh, by the way, the setting is f2.8, aperture priority, auto ISO, and I shoot in RAW, so I will edit the picture later on in Lightroom. Right, again, 24 millimeter. I'm going to try to capture it. Oh, right as the uh, farmer crosses by with the motorcycle. It's really cool. Alright. Beautiful. Let's try to capture that area right there with the wider angle. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to about 35 or 50. Alright. Something like this. Oh, very beautiful. I like it. I want to try to just crop it. So this has the multi-aspect ratio thingy. I'm going to try 16 by 9. I'm gonna try to get a more horizontal kind of picture, something like this. All right, really nice. I like it, it's beautiful. What about that area right there? Let's try to capture it one more time. Seventy millimeter. Nice. Alright, so for the last scene of the day, I'm going to use the Canon G15. Wow! So I have three different cameras today, the GX8, the LX100, and the G15. And the G15 is set to shooting JPEG, not RAW, and aperture priority as well. So this is for my JPEG practice camera, if you will. So I'm not really a JPEG shooter because I'd like to process my images. Uh, in Lightroom whenever possible. I want to have plenty of control regarding how my image looks But yeah with JPEG, it's actually very You know liberating you don't have to think about post-processing and you can just shoot right away So yeah, very similar composition as before I'm gonna try to capture this uh, hills intersecting each other right here. I think it looks really beautiful So I'm zooming. I don't know. I cannot really tell the millimeter, but it's halfway between 28 and 150 millimeter so something like this i want to try to 
nail the uh, exposure first so yeah pressing this button it will nail the exposure AE lock button all right I'm trying to focus right there and capture the image like so if you can see what I'm doing on the camera all right that's the first picture anyway let's try one more time all right something like this but I want to use the exposure compensation button all right so right away that's what I don't really like from JPEG like the fear of not having enough dynamic range and everything is printed like the final image is what you got with no uh, you know possibility for recovering highlights that kind of stuff all right, let's capture this area right here the uh, heels right there close up thingy so yeah this is probably about 100 ish millimeter or maybe 90 or 80 right something like this let's wait for it to focus capture the image nice one more time all right beautiful now let's try to capture the wide angle kind of stuff 28 millimeter so yeah the g100 has a 28 to 140 millimeter lens very convenient for capturing all sorts of different kinds of stuff except ultra wide angle stuff yeah something like this let's try vertical i want to try to zoom in closer to again that uh, intersection part right there let's try to do it right zooming in i don't know what millimeter <laughs> but yeah quite a lot you can see what i'm doing on the camera i'm adjusting the uh osmo pocket 3 right that area right there let's try to capture it nice beautiful one more time i really like the intersection between those hills very beautiful i hope i'm not blowing out the highlight let's put the exposure compensation dial back to its place right and that area right there one more time all right beautiful and that wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that today's vlog has been entertaining and inspiring for you please let me know in the comment down below which one is your favorite picture also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel and if you want to support my channel even further please consider using the affiliate links on the description below or use the super thanks button to make a small donation to my channel thank you and i'll see you on the next video goodbye